Apple Silicon further than ever. It's another game-changing chip for our pro users. Now, one of the things that makes Apple Silicon so unique is how tightly it integrates with the operating system. This integration enables Mac OS to scale with M1 Ultra, allowing it to automatically benefit from M1 Ultra's immense capabilities, delivering another big step forward in performance. It also enables us to deliver an amazing experience for our users. Everything is super fast and incredibly responsive, and the system and user data are protected with industry-leading security. The transition to Apple Silicon has delivered the largest collection of apps ever for Mac, including iPhone and iPad apps, which can now run on Mac, and universal apps that unlock the full power of the M1 family. And new apps with unbelievable performance continue to be released every week. We're thrilled with how well this transition is going. And because M1 Ultra looks like a single piece of silicon to software, apps will benefit from its extraordinary capabilities without any additional work. Let's hear what some of our developers have to say about it. What? 128 gigs of RAM? There is no delay. It's just a toggling, like a light switch. You don't actually have that time to stir <laughs> your coffee because the file just opens. And you're like, oh, OK, let's get to work. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anna, and I work at Ableton as a software developer. Principal product manager at Adobe for motion graphics. I'm Ruby at Vectorworks. I'm Ellie Wade, and I work at Maxwell. I'm Larissa Supnik, I'm the lead Sapphire Yeah, you developer. can dip it, you can dip it. I don't know, that sounds too produced to be part of the score of... Uh, imagine doing the score for one of these events. It's like, to like have to explain to you the mood they're looking for. They're like mysterious, scientific, uh, futuristic. Mm -hmm. Um, John Williams is like, I, I can't. Sophisticated, uh, whatever variety. Anyway, they gave, obviously, they gave this new chip to a bunch of uh, different creative individuals, pe people who could utilize it, and now they're giving their feedback on just how stupid fast it is. If it's, if it's two uh, M M1 Maxes, then it's beyond the scope of, Pretty much what we would take advantage of which is kind of cool to think about that we're living in an era now because I used to Like really want that latest thing to improve. I don't know uh, editing smoothness or um, Export times we actually have hit a certain kind of Plateau for the type of work that we do But could it be quicker? Now, of course, it can always be quicker, but it's diminishing returns. Like, this is the first time where I bought the MacBook and didn't think about the needing the, the high-end chip. Where the battery consumption element of, of uh, increased battery consumption in exchange for slightly better, it was insignificant for me from a performance perspective. So, and it also speaks to how good the M1 is. Like, the cost to performance ratio on the regular M1 compared to Max and now Ultra. But listen, there are plenty of people watching this, I'm sure, that can can utilize even more um, processing potential. And that's who that's who's being marketed here, obviously. So what's your guess on the price? Well, they're going to have to... They're, it has to fit into a system, right? They're not going to sell you the chip on its own. So this Mac oh, Studio is going to have to be 5,000 more. So now, oh, wow. let's talk about what minimum. we're going to use this incredible new chip. Here you go. Today, we're going to focus on the place where so many people create their life's best work, the studio. A yeah. studio is where creators like designers, scientists, and developers change the world. Whether it's in a home or an office, each studio is unique. Yeah, but they're showing MacBooks as well. Customized with the tools that complete mm. the user's workflow. And for many, the Mac plays a pivotal role in this space. With the transition to M1, we've provided these users with two great desktops, iMac and Mac Mini, which have remarkable performance and entirely new capabilities. You don't even touch on the Mac, bro. Yet there are some users who want even more, so they can push the limits of their creativity. First, they want breakthrough performance and mm -hmm. capability to turn their studio into a creative powerhouse. Next, they want a wide range of connectivity for peripherals that are key to their studio workflow. And finally, many want a modular system and display so they can create their perfect setup. So that's what we're introducing today. Something totally new Max that studio. gives our users exactly what they need to build the studio of their dreams. And here it is.
Music. Hmm. Perforation. Perforation. Wait a sec. What? It's not like the renders at all. Is it round? Whoa, even better. No, never mind. It's just the bottom. That was just the base. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the whole thing was going to be round, but no, it's exactly like the renders. New display? Yeah, you're supposed to get the display with it. You have SD card slot on the front, two Thunderbolts, turn it up. This is Mac Studio and Studio Display. Mac Studio is an entirely new Mac with the unbelievable performance of our most powerful Apple Silicon, M1 Max and M1 Ultra. And the Studio Display is the perfect complement to Mac Studio with a phenomenal set of features and that integrated experience Mac users love. So let's dive in, starting with Mac Studio. And to tell you all about it, here's Colleen. That we went right in the SD card slot. Yeah. That's how it works. You go from the SD card slot right. straight into the a breakthrough in personal ultra computing. chip. It's unlike anything you've ever seen before. It's the first computer to put outrageous performance, extensive connectivity, and entirely new capabilities into an unbelievably compact form that lives right on your desk. Outrageous. Is this meant to go reach. with that monitor? Like, yeah, yeah, Mac yeah, yeah. Studio yeah. is going to you completely can put transform you studio workflows everywhere. Let's start with its design. With the power and efficiency of Apple Silicon, we were able to totally reimagine so what, what a high-performance desktop could cost. look like. Well, they're going to sell it. The exterior it is machined from a single aluminum with extrusion. M1 Max as well, so you can get a cheaper chip. So it'll start square. lower. But I was talking and specifically about that ultra chip. Yeah, the if you want that ultra, in there, yeah. so that's when I was like six. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Five. Six. Inside, every element was designed to produce an unprecedented amount of performance in such a small form factor. The innovative thermal system begins do it for with four? a unique oh. double-sided blower. Pulling air wow, so into the system across the entire circumference. Two thirds of, of that is just to cool it all base. down. Oh yeah. The air moves over the custom circular power supply and through channels precisely placed to guide it to the chip's thermal module. Jeez. Finally, the air is propelled through a low impedance rear exhaust containing over 2,000 precisely machined perforations. And due to the efficiency of M1 Max and M1 more Ultra, force on the, back, yeah. the sound is so minimal. For most workloads, you'll barely even hear it. Mm. With this In remarkably the compact and quiet system within arm's reach, you get easy access to essential connectivity throughout the day. So next, let's take a look at the high-performance I.O. Mac Studio provides. On the back, there are four Thunderbolt 4 ports to connect displays and high-performance devices. A 10 gigabit ethernet port, two USB-A ports, an HDMI port, and a pro audio jack there for high-impedance headphones or external amplified speakers. Wi-Fi 6 still have USB and Bluetooth 5 are built in as well. And since many users think it's frequently a good move. connect and disconnect devices, like portable storage, we also put connectivity on the front for even easier access. Systems yeah, I mean, it's M1 beyond what your laptop two gives USB you. USB-C ports, providing 10 gigabits per second USB 3 data transfer. And with M1 Ultra, these ports are Thunderbolt 4, with up to 40 gigabits per second data transfer speeds. There's also an SD card slot to easily import photos or video. And Mac Studio offers extensive display support for up to four this is going to be a youtuber FDRs, special right there so many youtubers TV, are going to buy this one driving nearly 90 million pixels with this wide array of advanced connectivity you can configure your studio to your exact needs now let's take a look at the unprecedented performance they had max studio five displays will total coming off of it when you compare mac studio to our most powerful mac desktops mm. the 27 inch imac and mac pro it takes performance to astonishing new heights. Let's start with Mac Studio with M1 Max. For CPU performance, Mac Studio with M1 Max is up to 2.5 times faster graphs, than Jack. the fastest 27-inch mm -hmm. iMac. 
and it's up to 50% faster than wow. Mac Pro with a 16-core Xeon processor. Our most popular configuration. Oh man, Mac Pro bot people. Graphics would be performance pissed. on Mac Studio with the difference in that line is fifty percent of the Jack. Four times faster than the You're fastest graphics 50%. on the twenty-seven inch iMac. Jack. And it even outperforms Mac Pro with its most popular graphics card. Mac Studio is over three times faster. Boom, boom. Mac Studio with M1 Max is the high performance machine many of our users have been waiting for to take their workflows to the next level. Tell us level. more about Ultra though. And Mac Studio with M1 Ultra oh. takes performance to a whole other dimension. Uh, it's the Mars, CPU it takes you to Mars. Mac Studio with M1 Ultra is up to 3.8 times faster than the fastest 27 inch iMac. The line just breaks And it's up to 90% <laughs> faster than Mac Pro with 16 90? cores. Am I wrong? We can even Jack. compare Mac hey. Studio with M1 Ultra well, like, am I to crazy Mac here? Pro with 28 cores. Tim it's sending his lawyers over here. Faster. That is incredible. Like we're looking for Jack. And graphics performance on Mac Studio with M1 Ultra just crushes 27 inch iMac. That's crazy. It's That's a 28 core Xeon that it just busted. times faster. It even exceeds Mac Pro with its fastest graphics card. Mac Studio is up to 80% faster. Now, Intel. in the same way that MacBook Pro what about shattered Intel, the Will? limits of graphics memory in I the think laptop, they made their own product Mac obsolete. Studio will do the same the Mac for Pro? the desktop. Oh yeah, they don't care about the, the Mac Pro, they never have. The most workstation yeah. graphics card available today offers 48 gigabytes of video memory. With M1 Max, you can access up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory. And with M1 Ultra, you get up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory for enormous graphics tasks. No other graphics card comes close. She's in shock. And when it comes to storage, the she's SSD discovering just like us. That's right. She, uh, they're just showing her for the first time. She's gigabytes per second of performance and up to eight terabytes. She's capacity. astonished. Today, more and more cameras are capturing ProRes video mm. from the iPhone 13 Pro to the Sony Venice cinema camera. With M1 Ultra's extraordinarily powerful media engine, Mac Studio can play an unprecedented 18 streams of 8K ProRes 422 video. There is no other computer in the world that can do this. To sum up this game-changing performance, what we need, 18, 18 Mac streams. Studio How's that for a multicam? is up to 3.4 times faster than our fastest iMac. It's a huge upgrade for 27-inch iMac users She's going for looking it, man. to move to more powerful Apple Silicon. And for those <sighs> looking for the most extreme performance, Mac Studio with M1 Ultra is up to 80% faster than our top-of-the-line Mac Pro. All right, what's the price? So now, let's take a look at how already. this unprecedented performance is going to transform the studio. Let's just move over here to our uh, casual studio, indoor can house building. Users reimagine their workflows and push their creativity further than ever. For musicians, Mac Studio oh, powers cool the setup. digital audio workstation that, This music is dreaming of. risky. Look at this guy. That's you in a different life, Jack. Wow. Yeah, you just got your uh, little guitars on the wall, your guitars on the wall. A better life. You're just doing some mixing. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we have here? Some uh, 3D. That's you, Willie Do. That's me. You doing the 3D. Okay. You remember in your Humber days? Shout out Humber. Yeah. Um, do you know what that software is? I don't. I don't know. Really? I thought that was right <laughs> up your alley, dude. Cinema 4D. Look how nice these rooms are. They're perfect. There's, uh, they're just oh, there's still blue. a printer. So that's me right oh, there. That's yeah, all right. Fine. What am I doing? The space stuff? Yeah. I got a telescope over here. Nice. I don't mind. Yeah, that would be, be fine with me as well. Yeah, it's always so organized. Everything's in the right place. You know how there's no Tim Hortons cups anywhere? <laughs> no coffee stains? No, nothing. Although there's a Canon camera. They let that in. They're like, yeah, okay, fine. Canon cameras, uh, We'll take that. So here's the photography element. It's all the different people you want to be, and it's how Apple is going to get you there because without them. But honestly, though, it's listen, if this thing is what they say it is, then uh, it's going to be a head start for a lot of people, like all jokes aside. But I don't know. Price-wise, I'm a bit terrified.
They didn't even mention regular M1. They just went straight from Max. They only talk about Max and Ultra. I don't even know if it's regular. Why would they bother? Because they have the mini. There has never been a desktop like it. And when it comes to the environment, Mac Studio raises the bar yet again. It uses far less energy than competitors to deliver its extraordinary performance. Over the course of a year, Mac Studio will use up to 1,000 kilowatt hours less energy than a high-end PC desktop. Mac Studio is also free of numerous harmful substances. It uses 100% recycled rare earth elements in the magnets and recycled tin in the solder of the main logic board. So that's Mac Studio, featuring M1 Max and the new M1 Ultra, the most powerful chip ever built for a personal computer. Mac Studio will supercharge the workspace with breathtaking performance, unleashing your creativity like never before.